Every morning, one of the first things I do is my random Bible reading. And I have this little prison outside the window. And the, uh, I love the symbols of light. And I know this is merely a reflection of the interior, but from where I was sitting, it was just kind of beautiful in its own way. And while watching this, it, it, I like the fact that sometimes it, the bottom area is like a heart, and I'm just blowing in the wind. It is not something magical in any way, shape, or form. It's merely a reflection. But when one is reflecting on God's Word, and which I was at the time, it was just pleasant to see. The hanging mobile was made by a Jewish friend an artist in his own right. And I have it outside my window. During the day, the sun will hit the prism. There'll be these lovely rainbows, little spots and colors dancing everywhere into my room. And I pick up a prism sometimes just to enjoy that breaks up sunlight into the colors of the rainbow. And you know me in rainbows. I leave the rosary in the morning after Mass, and it was hard to see the uh, fine print. I thought where it said Thursday that it was Tuesday, but I was really happy to focus on the luminous mysteries of light. Camel Drive and Church, uh, that was my focus in that church the hymn that they sang, We Are the Light of the World. I started the rosary. Roberta followed the Luminous Mystery, and Lydia uh, realized that on Tuesday, one should say the Sorrowful Mystery. Lydia is a very good lady, but Sometimes she lives in sorrow, just as what happens in her life, I guess, whether it be to her son and George, or to her brother William, or she affectionately calls Willie. And then uh, another lady who also worked at Chant, I mean, uh, blonde lady, can't remember her name. Followed Lady Young and he wanted to say what they felt was the correct decade for the uh, Tuesday. In retrospect, the idea of starting off with Jesus. Uh, being baptized and followed by the wedding feast at Cana which were noted by the men in the group and then came the sorrowful mysteries uh, uh, when they just changed what I was saying to the next one which was the correct order and the blonde lady followed her 
And I guess so did another one, I'm not sure which one. But neither here nor there. I just love light and I felt it was a proper one to say that particular day. Um, the world had quite a bit of sorrow. It was in all those people and the floods and that. I guess in, in a way, the uh, focusing on the uh, Lazarus this morning and and uh, the reading that I did and how uh, Christ brought him back from the dead and that. Well, let's, let's think in terms of the people who passed on and the floods and wind and storm will rise with Jesus. Just a little reflection in the morning to share with you. I'm really very much like a child when it comes to enjoying little beautiful things and moments. And if they inspire me in some way, so be it. This is like a little dance of the prisms. It almost reminds me of Egypt upside down, which in some ways it is. The strife going on in the Middle East. This also right side up. The one thing that we should realize is that the individuals who have the courage to gather peacefully for justice are being murdered at times by the head of Syria. that they have a close relationship with God that comes from paying homage to God not just on Sundays but five times a day and five is another mystical number The wind is blowing stronger. And the prism is swinging. The shapes are moving more rapidly. Sometimes it almost looks like water and other things. I've been fascinated of late with all forms of moisture and it recalls to mind the living water that Christ spoke of to the Lady of Samaria at the well. That's ours for the partaking of the word and believing it 
in Jesus. It is the Spirit. The triangles I always see are the calls to mind the Holy Trinity. And I trust that I will always see the light. And hopefully be the light to people who are in the dark. To help them see and feel the love of the Lord. Well, may God bless you all.